Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Very important for every trader. Know that there is a risk in the future trading. Try to be on a sim as long as needed before you go live. This is a serious matter. And uh, some traders emotionally cannot uh, handle the winning and the losing in the trading. There is always winning and losing in the trade. It cannot be just winning. Uh, today, the eye is on the, the uh, NASDAQ and uh, ES. Uh, we have a beautiful runs uh, uh, today. Uh, before we start for the new ones coming in, you get the signal. We are sharing uh, our signal for free. We're not collecting any information, names, money. We're not doing that. We are donating every day two hours from our work to share our information with the public and share our signals with the public. So this one here, uh, you follow the signal telling you which direction, entry target on the uh, pullback re-entry, you got the numbers and you got the ticks from the signal, not from all day long, from the signal, the last signal. As an example, we have an entry today on the ES, 90150 target 909 and a 31 ticks into the trade, and then we hit the target. And uh, let me try to get you one of the charts, uh, the NASDAQ, the ES, and we can see how this market uh, came in right into the target and a few ticks above the target. Uh, the same story, the market analyzer is based on one contract, one contract only, and one minute. We do not change time frame every single day. The same story here on the market analyzer, uh, uh, the Forex based on 10,000, and you can use the same principle on the stocks, and you can feed it with the automated trade. That system here comes with the three different automated trade, full automated ATM strategy, and an ATM. So this one here, uh, the market analyzer, you can follow the signal, but on the chart, what it does, it gives you a newer update to the newer target if this market trended. So this one here, the chart is the same system as up here, but is uh, giving you uh, an update if you wanted to increase your trade or your profit. Uh, this market analyzer here is based on the scalper. And uh, we use every day the same time frame, one minute and 150 ticks. At the bottom here, it is the... Uh, the controller, the Ninja Trader controller, which we are monitoring uh, the swing trading. As an example for the swing trading right now, we just closed one of the charts on the swing trading. I can show you. Uh, let me see. There we are. This is one trade and it's already hit the target. 1,325 market order, one contract. Uh, I'm sorry, one trade and it is done. So what those numbers you see right now, I will show you some of those trades as an example right now, the NASDAQ on a 3,000, uh, on a three minutes uh, is hitting 1,960. This is a very serious uh, money uh, just on that trade itself. And then we had some couple of trades uh, earlier today. So this is a beautiful run uh, on the, uh, on the, uh, Nasdaq and we are climbing on this Nasdaq. Uh, I can go ahead and show you another Nasdaq. It's not just by luck, the three minutes. Uh, this is uh, one is Hakanachi and one without. Uh, let me look at the one minute. Um, uh, this is the one minute. And the same story on the one minute. We have one small losing trade and we are hitting right before the breakout 1740. Uh, on the NASDAQ. For the ES traders, sure, we will show you the ES. What we do, we do not use Renko bar on the auto trades because Renko bars are fake results and fake movement. And uh, uh, this is a heaven for guys, their auto trades do not work. That's why they need to use Renko bar. Uh, for an ES trade, uh, as an example, if you want to take the five minutes, this is your five minutes on the swing trading. And now we are in that trade is around nine hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, if you wanted to look at the three minutes, it's the same story. Uh, this is your three minutes, and now we are five hundred seventy-five in that trade. 
And if you want to take a look at the one minute, sure, you got it, buddy. Here is your one one minute. And now we are in around $500 on the trade. And we uh, got one small losing trade. And But this is very, 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 very nice. So today the ice movement is on the NASDAQ and in ES. Uh, for the guys that follow me on the DAX with my chart, I'll be more than glad to share uh, my chart on the DAX today. And uh, this is the trade for today. I use one minute. You can use um, uh, any different uh, time frame. Uh, the other ones, they are probably 288 ticks. They can make more money. But I personally like the one minute on the DAX. You make one trade, two trades in the morning, and then you get it over with. The potential on the DAX, what you can make in one day, it takes you one week to make on the ES. And at least uh, uh, the, the DAX is not an institutional trading as much as uh, the ES, the AS has become uh, extremely uh, ex uh, institutional things. So the things is uh, our strategy on the DAX. Once you hit the 2000 euro uh, a week, you stop trading that market and you protect your profit. So this is uh, the swing trading. And that's why you see those numbers here at the bottom with the controllers. Those are coming uh, from uh, the swing trading. Uh, I wanted to cover also, uh, we have an ES trade, a CL trade. Uh, at the moment, the CL trade has already hit the target, but that's why I like to use uh, the, uh, I like to use the, uh, my uh, extended the target because I don't know if we can get a little bit more. If we notice on that trade, it came in right to the target. And with your fully automated to trade, uh, what it does, it close right there, you know, and it's done, it's over. Now we are waiting for a new signal. But for me, I always try to extend it manually, uh, try to extend the, the, the target because sometimes you can get much more than what you uh, if this market is trending, there is a good potential for much more trade. Uh, another thing, um, uh, I want to explain today what we are doing, how we are doing things, because um, especially for a gentleman called Ray, uh, he was asking me, uh, he got lost yesterday when we called uh, the CL trade for him and for everybody. And... Uh, uh, let me explain to you so you will not get mixed up with with uh, what we are doing here. Uh, there is uh, three ways we are trading and uh, three uh, what we are doing we are combining we we are combining the uh, how to look at the market before you start auto trade whether you have your auto trade uh, from us or from somebody else it doesn't matter what we need to look into the market before we start uh, trading uh, and then uh, while we we are running in the life uh, with on a youtube we like to highlight if there is some kind of trouble uh, in this instruments or got stuck between uh, two lines uh, and then and then we uh, we try to highlight those and showing you uh, uh, what things uh, you have to be careful with. Uh, on the, let me try to uh, get a clean picture on what's going on. Uh, let's take the ES as an example. When we are using an ATM or a fully automated trade, uh, the entry comes in, like as an example, the ES. Now we are 34, 35 ticks on the ES trade. The market analyzer is based on one contract. And uh, the NASDAQ, uh, now we are 275 ticks uh, based on the entry from uh, the signal. <coughs> so when we have the entry signal, Excuse me. Uh, and you're fully automated. Your ATM, ATM strategy, they're all going to get in in the same entry, the same number, practically. Uh, there is a little detail, details on the bar close and all this, but 
plus minus one tick. There is a three pieces here what we are doing. Once we enter the market, we hit the target. As an example, that's why I extended the target on the on the CL. Because sometimes we get this. A few ticks above. Most of the time we are right on the target. Sometimes market, you know, uh, does not go by anybody's rules. Uh, sometimes you're going to get few bars, you know, above or below. Uh, so the, the whole strategy here when we are taking this auto trade, if you're on a fully automated the trade, uh, you hit the target, you're done, it's over. What we are trying to teach here, even if your auto trade take this entry and uh, hit the target, does not mean there is no more potential money to be made. If we, I'm sitting behind the computer, uh, not being aggressive, but taking advantage of the same trade and not letting it die on you. So if we are taking this entry and we hit the target, we've been going live every single day and we've been covering those two yellow lines. Those two yellow lines, once this market enter those two yellow lines, whether you are is going up or is going down, you see that? There is a yellow line. Those are the dead zone. Those the area where you should not ever take any more long trade. The high pro the, the the probability of winning of on that trade is gonna drop to one out of ten or two out of ten. Doing those, if you go through all the videos uh, we are uh, covering it, uh, you will find out that. Uh, we have one NASDAQ, one minute closed uh, target. Beautiful. Done over. Okay. Uh, eight out of ten, this market here stays between those two yellow lines. Eight out of ten. Now we have two options once we are getting is overdone. It's done. Once we hit the target and exit out of that trade, we are done, okay? Now, this is an option we are trying to show advanced traders that there is two other options. We can also make initial trade and they are not hard and you don't need to be a wizard uh, or you need to be in a room training you for one year to pick up two more trades on the same instruments where your auto trade has taken those trades. One option is what we are looking at right now. One of the options, because we know after we hit this target, there is two yellow lines, and there is no more potential long. There is no more potential long. So now, uh, once we the auto trade take this trade out, if we look at the market analyzer, which a lot of traders, a lot of amateur trading, they don't know that. They don't understand that, uh, the pullback re-entry. We have a new signal on the, on the NASDAQ. Uh, now we will follow it. If you want to follow it, follow it. Enter price 84.50, target 63.75, and it is a short trade. For the last 30 years, this is the only method I know has not been, uh, uh, it's been with me since day one when it was no internet and we were trading on a satellite. Identify trend, pullback, re-entry. It is one of the most success strategy uh, to mastermind, to, to understand because it is the most powerful things. A lot of things has come out to the market but this is uh, this this strategy has been for 30 years and with me and uh, probably it will stay another 30 years in the market not unless something come out in the stock market but at the moment this is the most successful strategy and the easiest strategy for amateur trading or retailers to understand
If we notice on this area here, uh, you can uh, use an ATM strategy or you can use the full automated trade. The full automated trade is either has to hit the target or has to hit the trillion stop. The trillion stops, the first one, I do not believe, I hate, and you should not be using automatic trillion stop, a dummy trillion stop. This is the worst kind the trader use a dummy trillion stop because they are not, if you are on a trade and it's going your direction, you're trying to say, get me exit as soon as possible, where sh should be the other way around. When the, the, you are, when the market go into your direction, we should uh, grab it and not letting it go. But uh, sometimes guys are burnt for money and they say, I wanted to, um, uh, I wanted to save my hundred dollars, but this hundred dollars is nothing, you know. So if you are really your account is injured, then it's no longer a hundred dollar is gonna make a difference because you're gonna go back in five minutes and take in a trade and you're gonna be in the same hole again. So the other potential is when the automated trade. Uh, you are using the automated trade, you are using the trailing stop one. The trailing stop one here is a base on floor and fibs, major, uh, minor support area on the trailing stop one. Then you have the re-entry, then a major support line. Most of the time, if you look at those last 300 videos every day, eight out of 10, the market goes back to those area here. And those means a re-entry. We have even some traders do not take the entry signal. They just wait on the pullback and take those entry. Because most of the time, those, those trades, they come into this area, re-enter the market, and then they go back, retest the target. So this is one optional can be done. And you can take it manually. And it is very profitable because eight out of 10, the trades are solid. Uh, this gentleman got lost. He don't have our system. Uh, the, this gentleman, let me, he got lost with this one because yesterday I called a trade on the CL and he couldn't see it on the system. This system here, when we try to uh, let me simplify it for you. I'm going to put uh, the ES on it, and then I'm going to explain. Now we can see uh, this uh, ES is in a very, very critical area between those two lines. That tells you you should not be taking the trades long anymore. Your potential making money in this ES going long it is two out of 10, your chances. Your chances are very low to make money. A guy blind come in and shoot in, in here, he might get the 10 ticks. But this is telling us right now between the two yellow lines, that means the market is fixing to take a dive. Okay? I do not believe in overbought, oversold indicator what happened to the supply demand. So yesterday I called the trade and it was a beautiful trade. I got a lot of emails over it. During those videos, we have covered how to trade reversals. You know, so on the system here, when I'm trying, when the system right now here is telling me there is a good potential for drop. And I know there is going to be a good potential for drop because we are in a critical area, but I don't have the pinpoint where it is going to reverse. I don't have the pinpoint. And overbought, oversold indicator, they're just garbage for beginners. So what I do, I come into independent chart, has nothing to do with the system. And I try to take and nail those trades when they are out of the band, we have the system here. It's for reversal trading, and we have covered that for reversal trading. Why I like a reversal? Because I heard one time a couple of years ago, 
uh, a guy was teaching actually uh, and he said there is nothing called reversal I mean and and uh, that guy is teaching and and uh, and if a guy don't know there is a reversal and there is a lot of potentials in the reversals, I mean, I don't know how you're going to have a donkey playing piano, but uh, he's not going to play piano, that's for sure. Uh, the most profit trading is not trading with the trade. The trend is the, the reversal. The reason is good profitable trading with the, with the reversal because the risk is very low and the rewards is very high why is very high because what you are doing you're nailing the market from the top to the bottom to the other out of band there is a good potential on every trade 60 takes 80 takes 70 takes sometimes you bump into the mid band like this one here on the es is going to give us a problem later on on the es with the mid band i can see it immediately but if we don't have this uh, problem right now on the mid band, there is a good potential for taking that market from one out of the band to the other. So this is a very key. On top of that, when you are reversing, you're not diving in to the chop market or you are going to uh, to uh, uh, dive into where the market is, uh, is uh, really not going anywhere. So the reversal, they are extremely powerful and extremely profitable even they are more profitable than trading with the trend. As an example right now, this is the same maneuver what when I called yesterday the trade on the CL. Now we are going out of the band and now we are going to hit the 1275. Until we get there, this is a good potential for the 1275 out of the band, hit target two, we are going out of the band come into a res resistant area, this is a damn good potential for a reverse market. And I will be showing you how uh, success, once you start learning, even, even when you take a reversal and it don't uh, work for you, that reversal, there is always another potential to take one more trade on the reversal and then you can be recovered from that trade because it does not require a lot of stop loss on the reversal. On the reversal, you should not be using no more than 10 ticks, 15 ticks max, but the rewards are amazing. Right now, the high on the ES is 29.12. We are going to have a problem on the middle, uh, the band, this is uh, 9.01. If those fade out on the way down, so that we have a good potential to close out that trade on 28.90. So don't tell me uh, this is a not a good potential trade. And what, I, what I'm saying is, folks, that you can do it like a saw. When you are trying to, you know, cut the tree, you can still can whack that market once you are, uh, once you know what you're doing. You can whack this market going up, and then once the auto trade is done, there is a good potential to take the short without question about it. Or if you're not into those short trades, a reversal trade, you can always wait on the uh, pullback re-entry process. Those are very amazing on the pullback re-entry. If we notice right now, we are in this yellow zone and nothing is going to happen uh, into this market uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the ES, uh, there is a new signal on the six E. Let me show you on every given market is the same story. Here is your YM. Look where it is. The target is right in the middle. Uh, the YM uh, hit the target. Uh, made $240 based on one contract. And if we notice where, how the entry and hit the target, and we are in this yellow lines, where if we now look at the YM, probably we will find a good potential short on the YM. So uh, do not get confused. Uh, the system here, uh, the price action is trading with the trend. 
But what I'm trying to show you that there is a good potential to take reversal and they are extremely powerful. And if you don't want to bang your head through reversals, you can always wait on the pullback re-entry. There is always, always, always a trade on the pullback re-entry. Even if you have a low account, you can always trade uh, EIS, NASDAQ, then down zones, and they are very acceptable. Mm -hmm. If we look right now on the YM reversal, uh, we can see uh, the potential when it's out of the band, taking the trade. Some of them, they're going to be big. Some of them is going to be small. Welcome to trading. But the most important things, you are avoiding this mess in the market. This mess here can uh, really uh, can drive anyone crazy. Uh, sometimes you cannot predict it. I cannot predict it. Sometimes you think you're going to have a breakout and nothing happened. So... Uh, when you are taking those reversals, sometimes there will be small trade. I'm not going to question that. And sometimes they, they are going to be a big trade. So if we are keeping our eye on the ES today, I probably will can uh, also nail uh, those trades for you and uh, show you there is a, a good potential, uh, a good potential uh, reversal on the ESCL, and they are amazing uh, to to trade. So, uh, of course, um, look. I just go back to the ES, but we are out of the band. We are out of the band, and uh, we have a heavy resistance line. You see, this is this is one thing uh, traders don't understand. You cannot avoid FIPS. Uh, if you're trying to avoid uh, to draw FIPS, uh, you're going to be having a problem because everyone drawing the FIPS differently. But those, they are there for you on the chart, and they are really always updated. Uh, you don't have to do anything. It updates itself. So... Um, if we notice this is out of the band, we have a resistance 1275. You can see the wig came into 12. You see, I mean, sometimes you're gonna miss one take, but I'm in insisting on taking one or two ticks below uh, the, uh, the resistance line. You cannot put it on the resistance line, but you can put it one or two ticks below the resistance line because it could be that bar going a little bit up from that area and then it drops. So right now I can see this ES is running out of steam by looking at this two yellow lines here. I know we are in a critical area. I don't believe in those double, I mean, I look at the double uh, bottom, double up and all this nonsense, but those, they don't make money for me or overbought, oversold, or repaint reversals and all this nonsense. Uh, this is a, just a kid's play. If you, I want it to be seeing where it is uh, really a good place uh, to take a short and pinpoint where the probability of this market gonna be reversing. Excuse me, guys. Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes. I don't. I, I don't like to be disturbed with the chat. Yeah. One guy said um, disable. Yes, I don't. I, I think I have enough on my head, uh, my friend. Running three different system and twenty different chart. I think I'm busy enough. Um, so. We are out of the band, and and. Uh, this is right now the key on the ES. If if you want to short it out, there is a 1250 potential on a short out. And then if this one fell, then I can nail the third one immediately on those one here. Most likely this ES is out of uh, uh, stress. I mean, it's finished. But I will take it to 1225 or 1250 short trade right there. And then we can take it. The same story on the CL, the same story on the NASDAQ, the same story on, on any given market. So there we go. There we go. Reversal. 
and the market trap. There we go. This this uh, uh, reversal is not big. This reversal is not big. It's uh, gonna be dropping, and it's gonna drive you crazy around this area here. That's why it's not really something to chew on. But uh, we're gonna. I don't want to cover the mid band uh, because it has to be very. You have to know a little bit more than to cover the mid band. I don't want to cover the mid band. I want to keep it. I want to simplify how we can uh, take the trade. And there we go. We're talking about it. And there we go, folks. So the thing says, uh, uh, I'm thinking is. If you hit the target, you are already in the plus today. Okay. So we can we can take advantage of a one small trade on a reversal. You might hit the jackpot or not, but don't make a career out of it if you don't know what you're doing, you know. But uh, this is our uh, my job is to show you the potential and what you do with it is up to you. One guy is going to fly with it and one guy is going to cripple it. I cannot do anything about it. I used to get hot and bothered over it, but now I don't anymore. Okay, uh, we had the, the call on the NASDAQ, as I remember a few minutes ago, and now we, you are 17, 16 ticks into, into the... Okay, okay. Okay, I was just... Yes, yes. Oh, oh. Yes. If you... Okay, uh, let me see what else we have. Hmm. Also, the ES on the full range hit the target. Market order. Beautiful. Very nice. Done. Over. We still have a lot on a big trade and has not closed a trade yet. So the three minutes has not closed trade yet. We're still on the NASDAQ. has not closed the trade yet. So we will, uh, for our traders, you can put uh, the your FIB zone on the, uh, which we have covered that on your automated trade. And then you can, um, and you can probably maximize your trade much more than uh, you can leave the auto trade running and it, it does close open by itself. But if you want to write the over uh, the auto trade, you can override the auto trade by closing position, maximize your, your profit and close uh, the, the, the trade for today. Uh, so let me see if we can catch anything. I don't see anything catchable right now. There is... Um, the market to drop while we're explaining how uh, things working. So there is, I was late on, on touching anything. Uh, the NASDAQ is still on and uh, there is uh, an entry on the ES. If you want to follow that ES on a SIM, you're not on that trade on the on the ES. You see, this is uh, I'm not gonna be encouraging anyone on the ES because 
we have a lot of problems on the ES a uh, little bit farther down. I don't want to mess with it. Uh, if you want to take that trade, you got to be very light handed. You need to put a trade right now. And then we have a little problem on 903 and then nine, yes, 903. And then we have a support line 902 target. So there is a long way home. It's not totally clear all the way to the target. So there is a back and forth. It's going to be uh, driving you crazy on that ES. However, on the NASDAQ, you are much better cleaner area if you follow the NASDAQ trade, which I'm sure we have a lot of aggressive traders are following us uh, and they don't even have the system. And um, if you are on that trade on the NASDAQ, uh, if you, you have two options, you can get out at 69 level. It's going to be a problem at 69. There is a double support, three support line target is below those. So we're going to be going back and forth. So if you want to close position on the NASDAQ and you are under trade, uh, please uh, consider uh, exit on that trade at 69.29. Let's watch this one, folks. YM, let me see YM. New signal on the DAX, new signal, DAX 207, uh, 6.0, the, the target 0.355. So let's look at it. There's a new target on the, here how it is. It gives you the new signal. There is a sound, but I turn off the sound. I hate sounds. CL 40 ticks in that last entry. I lost the CL uh, chart. Uh, sure, a request about the reversal, and uh, this is exactly what I told you guys, out of the band, and I didn't like it because we're going to have a problem at the mid-band, and there is more problems to come in uh, on the ES, and God help us if we got to this area here, it's going to be a lot of heavy shop chops on this area here, so we have a major, major support area at uh, 90, uh, 950, so we'll see how things are gonna roll. Uh, the market is just dying on us a little bit. So we we will um, take it as we go.
Nasdaq finally closed position. Uh, for our traders, those are the seven I gave you for the NASDAQ uh, on uh, Monday. Those are the seven and uh, didn't lose, had this one small losing trade and it is 1,410. It's done on the NASDAQ. Market order is not limited order. So, any any new clues? We have a beautiful run on the CL. Okay, so we're waiting, guys, on uh, this uh, two. Uh, uh, Season. You see why in the NASDAQ, uh, folks, you see what is the support line? It cannot be more accurate than that. 77.75. We're having a problem. At the same time, why we're having a problem? Uh, right after the signal, we have a support line at 905.75. Once those uh, two uh, get broken, then it is going to go straight down so we are waiting on this breakout from those lines both of them so we'll see how it looked like the nasdaq fixing to there we go there we go yes come to daddy there we go guys for the ones are trading the dax uh, that's your destination or if you want to be aggressive, you're very welcome. Uh, I hope you follow me on a sim. You will not allow to call any trade for you. And look at this. Look at this accuracy. This is where I told you exactly to exit out of a trade. There we go. Welcome to trading, folks. I don't believe anyone cannot make money in the market. If anyone cannot make money in this market because he didn't put his homework. Simple as that. If I can predict this, everybody can predict it. Believe me. This is exactly where I told you folks to exit. To the tick. And this is exactly where I told you we're going to have a problem on the ES. Exactly where we, what we said. Okay, we're going to exit out of that trade. It's finished on the NASDAQ. So, Every day we try to give you one or two trades on the sim. I think we have delivered two trades today when the new signals come out and uh, you should be a happy camper. Let's see Uncle CL what is doing here. Okay, here is uh, to the gentleman, Ray. Your CL trade uh, nailed 65 ticks on that trade, on the last trade. Where is it, Ray? Is it between the two yellow lines? That's mean, no, no, no more short. Plus, it's giving you reversal signal telling you push your brakes. You know, you are on a motorway, you are on a highway, freeway, and uh, there is a light bulb telling you slow down. That's exactly what it's saying, saying here to you. And now we are going to switch to the CL, my friend. I mean, I cannot uh, keep chasing, I'm sorry if I'm late, but I cannot keep chasing ES, CL, NASDAQ, three different systems. So the whole thing's here. 
and I'm trying to be the system and predict not to say what happened and that it is also uh, need um, I'm not showing you what has happened. I need to, to predict for you. So it's a little bit double hard for me. Uh, there we go, my friend. It's the same story as yesterday. Diversion out of the band. But would I take that trade? No, I would not take that trade. Why? I don't see any support line and resistance. My support line and resistance, you know, not from the flea market. My Fibonacci and my Florin Fibs, they don't exist here, you know. So that is not a tradable for me if there is nothing to lean on like the ES. When you saw the ES, there is something supporting the uh, the when it was out of the band the ES and you saw how the the ES fell because we are leaning on the fib lines and the floor and fibs on that situation here. Yes, if we look at the you have A and B and C plus diversion. This is one signal. Plus you have the trend exhaustion. That's another signal. And this now this one here is a high risk trade when you are taking it when there is nothing supporting it. You know, could be the probability is gonna die on the way and pull back. I don't know. I cannot I don't have a crystal ball at the moment on the CL. But I prefer to take those trades when there is floor and fibs confirming the fibs, like what we showed on the ES when the floor and fibs confirming those FIB zone out of the band. Diversion is very healthy to have it. And then the trend exhaustion. And then this one here, the double mark. This is a very good indication. Then you have a trade uh, eight out of 10. They are success trade and you don't need to be a genius to take those trades. So this is uh, the CL. Whoever followed us on the NASDAQ, I'm sorry. Whoever followed us on the NASDAQ, I told you where to exit to the tick, and you have not missed any trade on the, not even one tick on the NASDAQ. You just suck the juice out of that trade. And this is what it's supposed to be. Uncle ES here, let's see. It's going to drive us crazy a little bit. We're going to be sitting patiently on the ES and um, trying to find anything to chew on. There is nothing to chew on at the moment. Yes, but, uh, you know, uh, we got a few trades for those traders, uh, the outsider. And um, uh, you know, we have nothing to hide. And uh, 150 ticks on the on the on the scalper it just eaten one a huge banana. It's going south. Welcome to trading. You're gonna see sometimes red and you sometimes you see red. The CL on the scalper 150 ticks is getting his butt kicked royally. Even on the one minute, the CL on the scalper is also here in Somali banana right there. Welcome to trading. Nothing we can do. That's why I like uh, the, me getting involved with the trade and have a little knowledge. When you are a swing trading, if this market moving, nobody is gonna out trade you. Not me, 
not your neighbor, not the guy sitting with 20 years have experience behind his ass. Nobody is going to beat you when the market is moving and you are swing trading. Because the amount you make on the swing trading, if the market moving, I cannot compete with that, honestly. But when the market is not moving, this is where you don't make money like anybody else. So whatever the outcome on the swing trading, you have to accept. Like if you are a scalping today and the CL did go south, welcome to trade and nothing we can do. You know, you can say it's our auto trade as much as you want, but it's not. Yesterday was good, today was not. Very welcome to trade it. But the things is why I like the price action because I can, I'm combining the auto trade with my knowledge and then I see things different than uh, giving you just a blank chart and you say to the auto trader, go donkey, make me money, you know. This one here, you know, uh, whatever the outcome, it is the outcome, nothing we can do. But in here, you have much more potential to control your trade and to be consistent when we can trade with the trend and when it comes into those area, like right now, what is it doing the ES? You know, look, look uh, for Ray. You know, I told you I would not take that trade. You know, not for me. And I told you probably it's not gonna survive, and it didn't because it got rejected from the mid band. Now, the Florin Fibs confirming those area, so now we have an entry at sixty eight thirty. You see patient in the market is going to make a difference. Patient. Sometimes you get this little teaser, don't worry about it. But uh, your entry price is 68.30. And if I miss that, I miss that. I'm not gonna chase it, don't chase it. You stay firm on 68.31 or 32. And this is where the reversal is gonna happen on the CL. So that's why I was not too crazy. Diversion buy, you don't have to do that. It's out of the band, it's out of the band diversion and giving you buy signal very this is is up to the trader to take but i'm consistent on 6831 so there is a signal telling you to buy when you are out of the band but for me this is for for a guy don't know what he's doing that's very fine for but for me i'm only gonna take a trade 6831 i decide not the system decide so, uh, okay, as we said, we have a problem on the uh, ES in those area, and we did. And um, if we are going to break those area, might as well extend this target. We had, there we go, yes, yes. Once we hit, well, once we cross the 90.02, uh, there is a good potential for a really drop down. So this is very nice also on this one here. So if we are breaking those area here, Go ahead and a drag. And if you are still on that trade, you have an option to close at 902.25 or you can close at 950. You know, so you're done with that one. And our scalper is lighting like a Christmas tree. The red is really shining in there. Uh, let's go back to the ES reversal. I want to try to show the guys. 
if you are sitting behind a computer and um, you don't have to work or you are at work but you can sneak a little bit to your computer using your team viewer to connect your home there is always a good potential to take a trade and um, and um, break even and leave it alone or whatever but if you can learn the reversal in conjunction with uh, that system here uh, i guarantee you one thing that is gonna change your lifestyle is going to change your lifestyle uh, on the es we predicted where it's going to be dropped and i know exactly we are going to have a problem is the 950 here uh, sh uh, should we trade from here? I don't like it, but is it tradable? If you want to put a buy order at uh, 950, it is tradable, but I don't. I'm a bit greedy. I like it from here, you know. So we'll see how it's going to come out. And uh, it's telling us 90, 950. Absolutely is going to be rejecting on 9050. So yeah, right at the support line, 950. Okay, so this is where you can exit that trade if you're still on the trade. This is nice. Okay. 9050 is the magic word if you're still on that trade. We don't have any more signals to, okay. This is an aggressive trade, diversion out of the band, buy signal, trend exhaustion, and the double MACD is, is a very well in line. I personally still like to, would have taken it two ticks below. Not unless if you're desperate, then you take those, but you should never be desperate on those trade. And I will stay firm on the 68.30. 6830, 6831. And there is more probability is going to come down to this area here. We'll keep our eye on it and we'll call that trade for you. All right. Yes. Uh, the party is over on the ES. Uh, I hope everybody is out with the ES. It came in right in line at 9.02, and then we have the 900, so we are right in line. Uh, at the moment, uh, based on the last entry signal, on the last entry signal we have here in this room today, we are in total of 315 takes, 2,680, 
seven ticks on the ES, the seven ticks based on one contract, 50 to 50 ticks on the NASDAQ, 44 ticks YM, 65 ticks Russell, three tick uh, on a 38 treasury bond, don't spend them in one place, 62 gold, 30, oh, we had the signal on the DAX, I don't know how many followed that signal on the DAX, we are on 35 ticks from the, the signal was uh, what, 10 minutes ago, we called it for you, you are on 31, and then the 6E, I think also we call the 6E, and the CL is 70 ticks. Okay, I'm going to be taking a break. Uh, there is no trades. Uh, there is only this lousy CL, uh, ES with the $200. Uh, but um, we will um, wait in on the a new signal. Okay. And then uh, we will... Um, the, the system takes short. Now we are done with the short. We hit the target in the short. Now we, the system is not going to take any more trade until we have a long signal. So it's not going to be any more short trade. It's going to be a long trade on the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, because they were all in the sell. So now we are waiting on the buy. We're done with the trending down. One of the things is when you see on the NASDAQ, we had our run today. We had our run on the way up. We had our run, our spike on the way down. There is nothing to trade anymore on the NASDAQ. It's over. If you were on that trade, the last entry signal on the ES and NASDAQ, you made money, fine. There is nothing left to take short here anymore. The only time you can able to take short is from those area here, re-entry, and then a drop one more time to the, or if you want to, you need to wait on the new signal to take a new trade and a new round. And this is what is beauty about it. You are avoiding all those sideways market when the market is uh, chop, sideways, flat, call it whatever you want to. Uh, this is where most of the traders uh, uh, make problems and they start losing money. So I'm gonna go ahead and get fresh coffee. I'll be quiet for five, 10 minutes and I'll be right back, thank you.
Okay, guys, uh, we are 364 uh, ticks based on the last signal. I don't know which one you took, the DAX, uh, the NASDAQ, uh, ES. You're still on this ES trade, I don't know. Uh, the CL, 67 ticks, 17 on the 6E DAX, 39 ticks. This is a very nice signal, 65. So total of 35, we still on the automated trade. We still have one more trade to deal with. We have one trade on the CL with 1600. Where is it? Oh, boy. Where is it? Oh. I'm not going to mess with my... Uh... I'm not going to mess with the, my system here. Okay. So let's go back on the CL story. Uh, ES, we are on the ES. Okay. If we are able for those guys are trading manual. This is a very strong hold on the ES 9050. And if we are breaking below the 99, we have a huge potential down to the 28 mining. This is a very serious area right now. We are on the ES. So keep your eye on the ES. And uh, if you don't have the system market, uh, 90, 950, there is a good potential buy here. And then if we break below the 99, it could be, I don't know what is going to happen in the afternoon, but it could be closing at 28.90 on the uh, ES. So we'll see how things is over. It's over on this one here. This is the only trade on the price action we have. We don't have anything anymore. We are totally flat. We are waiting on a new signal. Oh, here it is. Uh, the swing trading on the CL. We had the first trade from 69.86. Then we entered the market uh, 69.38. And uh, we are still on that trade. And let's look at the CL price action. Uh, the price action CL, the entry was 6922, uh, target 6855. 
somewhere around there. Let me. We are right in target. And it's getting stuck on this resistance line right now. So there is a good potential for this uh, CL to go out of the band one more time to uh, Ray to the our support line. And then we nail it, you know, patient. And it could be very good potential to, to trade a reversal on the on the CL for the ES we are coming down to those critical area we have one small uh, support line 9175 this is a major 950 if you are in a trade you can take it out or you can uh, if you're not into the market it is a good potential for a buy but you have to be very careful with that trade. 90.50 is right there. CL. There we go. You see where it's playing uh, on the ES. So we are right at this blue line, 91071.75 and 0050 is the buy. Follow on a sim, not life. We're not allowed to call life trade for you. Uh, to our members, if you have a decent question, I don't want to talk about uh, uh, your chart, my chart. Uh, if you have some technical question about trading uh, to our traders, you can uh, start Skyping me and I will start uh, anything about trading, not about the weather. If there's any of uh, our customers have a question, uh, please Skype me. Just something to do with the trading, please.
we are still at this line. If we are breaking that line here on the ES902, uh, final one is uh, 0050. This is a good buy potential on the ES. If you are still on that trade, you have not closed. We are still having a problem on that line 902. If we are breaking the 902, close open position at uh, 0050 on a sim. We are 382, 380 ticks based on the last entry signal, not all day long. 380 ticks, one contract, one minute market analyzer. And now 350. So Uh, I will be staying quiet until uh, we have something uh, to do. Uh, we hit all the targets to the downside, folks. Uh, there is uh, nothing anymore. And uh, now we are waiting on a long trade. Simple, simple as that, we are waiting on a, a buy entry on the ES, buy entry on the YM, buy entry on the NASDAQ, buy entry on the DAX 6E or CL. Uh, question, do you still have uh, uh, on the price action? No, uh, the YM is closed, uh, Ben. Uh, everything is closed. We only have one customer left here. It's the ES. Uh, the YM also is closed. And if you can see, Ben, uh, our target was really down there and didn't make it. And uh, that's why you don't see target hit uh, on the YM. It's a, it's a very clean picture, Ben. Uh, for this gentleman one time asking me, uh, is the market got stuck because of the channel, your channel, your YouTube channel? This is what we call channel when the, the market gets stuck between support resistance line. And um, this is the YM now stuck. It's on a neutral. Uh, this is where we... When you come in in the morning, Ben, and when you, you have the same chart, if I wanted to auto trade or manual trade or whatever, banana trade, when I see this, Ben, you have to wait. You cannot trade it because no one know what is going to happen. And this one here, sometimes... A couple of years ago, when I was on a CL, every single day, whatever I made on the DAX, I put it right back on the CL uh, in the, in the uh, US market. One time the CL was stuck in a channel for two weeks. And every time I made a bet, I lost for two weeks. I couldn't get not even a dollar out of the CL. The only day, I, I, I didn't want to deal with it. It broke out of that channel, you know. So and I will never forget those two weeks. I went head to head with the CL and never got anywhere with it. So when you see this market getting stuck, do not auto trade. Do not do anything. Go have a coffee. Uh, piss off your wife. Uh, piss off your children. Uh, do something. Wash your car. But don't, don't go head to head with the market. Once you see this market start breaking out from this box here, uh, then uh, it is time uh, to turn on your auto trade or whatever you want to do. But when you see this market in the morning, when you get up in, is, is getting stuck somewhere like this, you should not be trading it. You just leave it alone or you try to find alternative where the market is a much cleaner uh, a way to to trade 
you cannot go head to head with the market. You simply cannot do that. I think uh, the the party is over on the on the ES, and whoever made money made money. I'm gonna be closing this one, and uh, whoever didn't make money is not gonna make money. So uh, the the trade is over on the ES. We have a new signal, a buy new signal, CL. I think I just messed up my system here. Yeah. We have a new entry on the CL, uh, 30 uh, entry price, 69.94 target. 68.94 target, 69.33, okay. I'll be closing this one. And I think we are getting ready to get a new signal. Okay, we just closed it and uh, we are waiting on, on a buy signal on the NASDAQ. And uh, now we got the, the CL. So we're gonna move this one away and we're gonna look at the CL. This is the new signal on the CL. Where is the CL? Hiding somewhere. There we go. This is the only new signal we have. I mean, the CL did very well, guys. When when you take a trade early in the morning and uh, you did very well on one instrument, you should not continue trading. Uh, the, the closer we are to 12 o'clock, the weaker this market is going. We did very well on the CL, DAX, ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, everything on the, on the first signal. Now we are going towards the uh, they did very well, and uh, now we are changing direction, getting close to 12 o'clock, you know, maybe you need to call it off, uh, and uh, I think we had a beautiful runs this morning. There is not even one person lost on any of those entry signals, and I hope you're doing it on sim. We're about to have a new signal then on the YM. And uh, let me see the NASDAQ. We're about to have a new signal on the NASDAQ and YM. So keep your eye on the first column, please. You're gonna have the new signal very soon on those two. <laughs> Okay, we have a new signal, NASDAQ. On the new signal, NASDAQ is uh, an entry 93, target uh, 7620. And we should have one on the YM very soon.
I'm worried about that uh, trade on the NASDAQ because we have a resistance line at 96.50. If we break the 96.50, we are on a different jackpot for today. So the 97 level here, I'm concerned about. If we cross that, and uh, it is like a race between now and 12 o'clock, and this is my main concern. If you are following that signal, uh, we need to see the 97 level breaking out. And it seems like the YM is hold because of the ES. The ES is struggling, refusing to die on the, this is what we are covering today. This is your auto trade, training stop. This is the first resistance line and this is your second resistance line so the es is failing to do that that is causing the ym to stop but it's about to break that's why we didn't get the signal right away on the ym and um, i'm concerned with the uh, 97 level on the nasdaq let's see how it's gonna the market gonna play us and at the same time, you gotta keep your eye on the clock. Uh, we're getting closer to the lunchtime. That's when uh, the markets start getting weaker. Get ready on the, no, the ES, there is a sales order coming in on the ES. That is going to cause <clears throat> problem for the NASDAQ probably. We'll see. We are waiting on the ES.
I'm going to leave it open and, and there's no use to sit down and keep talking and waiting on a new signal. And um, I'll, uh, I'll stay quiet uh, until we have a new signal. Uh, there is nothing we can do except waiting. Uh, the, the market on the ES come into the projection line right there at the 904 what number we said we need to no we are way far from it okay it was 0050 it came into the projection what uh, really causing this nasdaq not to go any further because it was a little drop down to the projection on the es but we were just about to have a new signal on the ym and this ES has dropped a little bit. So it's causing a little delay for this NASDAQ to move. Be patient and uh, I will be. Also, uh, you gotta be careful with on the NASDAQ, the 96.75. It is a problem, the 96.75. So all depends on the ES movement. So we'll see how the outcome uh, with the ES. So right now we are sitting sideways on all three market. And uh, let's see if uh, the ES is gonna pull back the, the NASDAQ or the ES is gonna decide to go up again. So I'm gonna sit quiet. I'm gonna keep sharing the screen and then uh, we and then uh, we take it uh, when we get a new signal. Okay.
Ja. Men den er sindssygt god. Ja. Rigtig god. Men det er fordi, jeg læste også på internettet, at det er den bedste USB-mikrofon, man kan få. Er det rigtigt? Ja. Det er også en med filter. Den, det hedder popfilter. Det er noget, man køber. Sådan her. Rigtigt? Mm. Popfilter. Åh, oh, okay. Det køber du ved siden af. Hvor meget koster det? Åh, oh, det er ikke. Du kan slå det op. Åh, oh, okay. Se nu. Uh, jeg kan sende dig en enkel. Okay. Okay, jeg går ud. Uh, vi snakker senere. We're still waiting on those trades, guys. So, uh, we're just waiting on the ES, and uh, we are waiting on the YM. They're not moving at all. Let's look at the reversal on the ES. There's a potential buy on the ES at 0050, guys. Man, we are going through a lot of chops on the ES now. Oh, boy. This is uh, where... This is where we are really diving into chop market on the ES. It's not tradable anymore. Uh, on the, it's not tradable, the ES anymore. And uh, we'll look at nothing. There is nothing left. Whoever made money this morning with us, you're very welcome. But uh, right now we are sitting on the side and there is not much. We are just waiting on the market movement. Uh, let me see if I can find you trade we're having a support line here zero zero four is the same on one minute on the es now we are diving into chop and uh, we have a potential buy order at a zero zero twenty five or zero zero five nine hundred fifty point uh, five zero or nine hundred twenty five there is a good potential entry here a buy entry but uh, the auto trade is uh, wait, we are waiting on a buy signal and we don't have a buy signal we did very well on the short we are done with the short now we are waiting for the long actually we are sitting right there at mine zero four I hope it's not gonna get stuck between those two lines. That's me. We are in the long haul till after lunch. So we'll see. CL going south, and we have the Nasdaq going south on the new signal. Okay.
Okay. We're coming to our entry. Zero, zero, 005 or zero, zero, 0025. This is where exactly right there. The market is totally stopped. And uh, Ben, uh, I know you're chasing the, the YM. Uh, on the YM, we are back to square one. You see that? Uh, this is, we are back to square one on the YM. Not tradable. It's nothing but problem. But I'm trying to find a new entry. Uh, it's not on the system uh, manually. And uh, I cannot see anything, guys, to trade anymore. It's done. Uh, I'm sure everyone followed us today has nailed very good takes, you know. And um, that's uh, nothing is going to happen. Uh, the only thing, guys, uh, the ones, the outsider don't have our system. If you want to follow trade on a sim, you can take one, but you have to be light-handed with it. You have two options on the ES is 0025. And then the uh, second option to take a trade long, both long. is 97.50. However, if you have good size of money, uh, I'd like to show you a trick uh, where you put one buy order right there at uh, 0, 0.050. If this market came in, got you filled, kept going, it's very fine. You put one buy order here and another buy order at 97.50. So you have two orders together, which they line up around 98.50, you can always get out of that trade and you will be getting out of that trade. So those are the two potential, if you wanted to go to contract, do not go to contracts on a 0025 or 0050. You go on one contract in here and then the second contract you put it at 97.50. Stop loss on both of them is 96. So uh, okay, did this market decide to move? Let's see. Well, we're gonna stay a little bit longer to see if we we are able to get some new signals uh, for you before any targets. Uh, maybe the market is going to go up. Look like it's moving a little bit. So I'll stay quiet a little bit and uh, see if we can get anything out of that trade. I really would love to share one more signal uh, before we call it off for today. So. Uh, the time is bearing us 11.36. Nothing. Okay, guys, uh, I want to say thank you very much for all uh, uh, your support. And please, if you like us, give us a thumb up. And, um, and uh, I'm sure... Um, a lot of people today did very well. And uh, I thank you very much for your support.
uh, please give us thumb up if you like us. And um, I hope all this time we are using that you're getting something out of it, where uh, maybe you can see some of the mistake you've been making, and uh, now maybe you open your eyes to it. And as you see, sometimes, uh, like uh, when we first started today, uh, the market was throwing a lot of ticks at us, NASDAQ, ES, everything. It was throwing money at us. Uh, DAX gave us 500 euro, the, the 6E, ES, NASDAQ, YM, all of them give us money. And now everything is dying out and that's fine. But you can see that is sometimes the market is not tradable. And uh, right now, whoever comes in uh, trying to trade, whether he is trading um, automated or manual or whatever, he's going to have a hard time because now the market is stopped. And there is a very mixed reading. And um, there is no movement. And we are getting close to the 12 o'clock. That is not good at all. Um, so you can see how this market now is sideways and uh, there is nothing to trade actually even if you uh, try to turn on your uh, your scalpers or your swing trading uh, right now uh, you're gonna be uh, in a lot of problems with the, with the trades uh, because there is no movement and um, Nothing is readable anymore. Let's see if this, uh, before 12 o'clock, they're gonna to do anything with the ES. Uh, for our traders, sometimes you see the star right under the bar. The star, uh, it is in a way, you can use it for a closing position or entry. If you notice, there is one star here. So it's telling you this market is, oh, there we go, it's amazing. Okay. Uh, the, the ES came into the resistance line, the trend is top one. What we need to see on the ES in order for the NASDAQ to to do the job, we need to see this ES breaking those lines in order to see the NASDAQ start breaking out. Uh, the NASDAQ is coming. I'm going to stay a little bit longer. We have concern on the NASDAQ at uh, the 95.75. And then we have the 97.25. This is a really hard. It, it is a hard. I mean, it is. Let's see. This is gonna drive you crazy. I should, you should, when you see things like this, stay away from it. Folks, it's been a pleasure uh, serving you. Uh, and um, we'll see you tomorrow, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, God bless you all. And please, from now to lunch, uh, don't sit behind a computer, take any trades. Uh, that is gonna cause you a problem, probably losing the trades. Yes. Okay. Bye for now.